how's it going? This is your ukulele instructor Mason and this is my first video of 2022. So I'm starting off the year with the bang with this video. So I hope you all had a good Christmas and let me tell you, I did too. So I thought, why don't I show you a few gifts I got for Christmas? Now I have a lot, but I'm not gonna name all of them. So to start things off, let me show you what I got for Christmas on my desk. All right, so to start things off, I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas on my desk. And no, it's not the wolf stuff everywhere on my desk. And I don't think I mentioned my favorite animal before. My favorite animal is a wolf. I'm pretty sure you, some of you don't know that about me. But now that I'm getting off topic, let me show you what I got for Christmas, okay? So the first gift I got is a GAD audio microphone. That could be a G or could be a C, I'm not sure. So I got the microphone, and over here, I got a Focusrite audio interface. And it's pretty cool. Watch this. I turn this on and I turn the knob up, and you see that little green light right there? That means the microphone is working. But you wanna see something cool? Watch this. If I move my chair back, oops. Uh, ukulele just fell down. <laughs> So anyway, you can see you can see the green light right there. It's still working. And if I move my uh, chair all the way back here, you can still see that it's working. Isn't that insane? I think it is. So this audio interface is a two and one because let me show you something. You see that little hole right there? Not only you can put your microphone in there, but you can put your instrument cable in there. For example, I got an instrument cable right here. Now watch this when I plug it in. Look, you see that? It's two in one. And this this button, air, is for microphone, and this button right here, inst, it's for instrument. So yeah, the reason why I got an audio interface and a uh, microphone for Christmas is because I'm thinking about recording my own songs. Wouldn't that be something? So yeah, that's what I got on my desk. So that's what I got for Christmas on my desk. Now another thing I got for Christmas is something on the wall. Let me show you. Look at this. That is a wolf calendar. Like I said, wolves are my favorite animal. Some of you didn't know, know about me. But yeah, my grandma got me that. It's pretty cool. Now, the other, the other Christmas present that I got is something epic. You want me to tell you? Okay, here it goes. I got another ukulele. That's right. Like I, like I said, you can't have too many ukes, can you? I think you can't have too many ukuleles. So the ukulele I got is this. This is called a baritone ukulele. Now let me compare it to my console one here. You see the concert just a little bit smaller and the baritone is a lot bigger. Now let me go over the basics of baritone, okay? Now on a regular uke, you have standard tuning, which is G, C, E, A. G, C, E, A. Just normal ukulele tuning. Now on a baritone, it has the last four strings of a guitar and the tuning is D, G, B, E. D, G, B, E. Now, let's go over the chord, the chords of baritone, okay? So, you make the same chords as you would do on a regular ukulele, but there's one thing that's gonna be different. It's the chords. They're gonna sound completely different. Let me show you a couple chords, for example, okay? So this would be your C chord on the baritone, but it's gonna become a completely different chord. Listen, you hear that? This would become C, but on a baritone, it is G. You hear the G in there? Now, you would make your F chord as you would do on a ukulele, but it's gonna become a different chord. F becomes C. Now, 
This would be your G7 chord. Like I said, it's gonna become a completely different chord. G7 becomes D7. Now, this would be your G chord, but like I said, completely different chord. G becomes D. This would be your C7 chord. This would be your C7, but it's gonna become G7. And when you play a G7, that leads you straight to the straight to the C. It leads you straight to the C. G7 to C. Now, this would be your D minor chord, but it's gonna become A minor. This would be your A minor, but it's gonna become E minor. This would be your A chord, but it's gonna become E. So you see, you make the same chord shapes as you would do on a regular ukulele, but the baritone is gonna have different chords when you play them. This would be, now on a, on a regular uke, there are different ways to play a D7. And this, would, this is one of the D7 chords, but it's gonna become different. This D7 becomes A7. Now in F minor. This would be your F minor. And this would be F minor as well, but it's gonna become C minor. You can also play C minor over here. Now, your B flat chord right here, this would be your B flat chord, but it's gonna become F. And when you get up here, this would be one of the C's, but it's going to become G. Now, this would be your E7, but it's going to become B7. And you're the B7. Pretty cool, right? So you see, baritones are going to have different chords, but you still make the same positions as you do on a regular U. But the baritone is going to have different chords when you play them. It's pretty cool. Let me do a little bit of finger picking. sounds it sounds deep it sounds warm and it sounds amazing now I just realized something this would be your F7, like a, I think there's another way to play an F7, I guess. But when you add this, when you add this, it's gonna become C7. So that's a basic, basics of baritones so i hope you all had i hope you all had a good christmas and i have something surprising to tell you next week it's going to be next thursday i'm going to do something that i never done before in my life me and my family are going on a cruise no joke i'm going on my first ever cruise and it's going to be a carnival cruise I wish it was a Disney cruise, but oh well. I mean, for my first time cruising, Carnival is probably a good way to go. I wish it was Disney, but uh, I heard that I heard that Disney's making their fifth Disney cruise ship, Disney Witch, which is going to be set sailing this summer of 2022. I think it is. Yeah, it is. 
So yeah, I'm going on a cruise next Thursday and you know I'm gonna be making videos and I'm definitely taking this with me. No joke, because why not? Yep, so me and my family are going on the Carnival Sunrise. So we're flying down to Miami and we're getting on, we're getting on the cruise down there. And it's a four day cruise. Yep, four days. And we're going to the Bahamas. And you know I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna be making videos on the cruise and in the Bahamas. So yeah, I am super excited for that. And I hope you're looking forward to that as well. So yeah, going on my first ever cruise. I think it's like a, dream come true i wish it was disney though but oh well so next week on thursday going on a cruise so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave a comment and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my future ukulele tutorial videos because i want you i want to make you a good ukulele player you know because why not so this is your Ukraine Instructor Mason saying, have a nice day and keep strumming.